Despite the economic downturn, CareerBuilder.ca says the number of Canadian jobs is on the rise. Here with tips on job hunting in the new year is Neil McLusak. He's the senior career advisor for the website. Neil, thanks for joining with us. So how much, uh, how much job growth are we expected to see next year? What's the prediction? Well, um, short of a prediction, what we are expecting to see and what we see from our survey is that uh, for the third year in a row, an increased number of employers in Canada uh, state that they'll hire uh, full-time uh, permanent employees, which is exciting. It's another um, positive signal of a strong economy and strong job market in Canada. Okay, and where are the jobs for 2012? Which sectors are we talking about? Um, mostly in roles that help to uh, uh, make sure that the organization is efficient. They support the efficiency of the organization. So if you think about what those are, you look at information technology. Any organization who has, or that has a good uh, IT infrastructure is sure to be efficient. But then also uh, roles such as administrative roles and mm -hmm. engineering, even to uh, roles like finance and uh, accounting. And what's the trend? Are you talking about full-time jobs, part-time jobs, what? Definitely full-time jobs, which I think is an important distinction because as employers are showing faith in hiring full-time employees versus part-time, that signals confidence in, in the economy for them and, and in their ability to support those roles and the benefits and costs associated with them. If all we saw were uh, increased part-time or consulting positions, for example, um, it might be a little bit of a different story. Okay, so what's your advice to those uh, on the job hunt? Well, the first thing is that um, job seekers should realize that there's much less of a stigma associated with being unemployed. Uh, employers today understand that the job market is tight and it's created a lot of individuals who are in transition. So that should help from a confidence level from, for the job seekers. That being said, it, it won't hurt to um, amp up and enhance uh, one's uh, marketing strategy from a job seeking standpoint. And that incorporates really online and offline techniques, making sure that your social media profiles are up to date. Network, network, network as much as you can. Make sure that you go to local meetups, um, local um, uh, networking events that, that you can attend. Make sure that people know that um, you are looking for an opportunity and you're open to, to researching new opportunities. View job boards, uh, make sure that you're active in groups on LinkedIn, for example. And what about those who've been out of work for a really long time and are just so frustrated? What do you have to say to them? Well, you know, it, it's, it may be a good idea to um, look into continual education. One thing mm. is that uh, a lot of these universities and um, colleges are open to uh, a wider and older demographic than they have been in the past. So they're, they're really expecting and catering to individuals who have been out of work for, for a long time. Um, we do see, though, uh, like our survey uh, indicates, an increased confidence in, um, in these individuals. All right, so tips for the, I guess, the, uh, the big focus for next year, then you, it sounds like make sure you network, make sure you're, you're looking at the job boards. Those are kind of the big things to do, right? Those are the big things to do, but uh, again, it's really important to network and make sure that um, everyone's aware that you're looking for those opportunities. It doesn't hurt, though, to stay uh, on top of any um, industry news. Make sure that you really can convey that confidence because you know uh, what's happening in the industry. So when you are speaking one-to-one -one with an employer, they understand that you know what you're talking about. All right, Neil, Neil McLusak with CareerBuilder.ca. Thanks so much. My pleasure.